Welcome to this video on how to log into the student and family portal and how to navigate around the portal. In this session, I'm going to show you how to log in, how to access report cards, how to see your students' attendance, and making sure that your information is up to date. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the SD35 website. So that's the Langley School District's website. That address is sd35.bc.ca. That's sd35.bc.ca. Once you're there, you're going to go to students and parent tab, and you're going to scroll down to the section that says My Ed BC Family Student Portal. Click on that. On this page, you can see some instructions, so written instructions on how to use it on a mobile phone and a computer. There's some quick tips here on how to log into My Ed, how to deal with a forgotten password, how to navigate my ed, what to do if you haven't logged in for a little while. There's also some frequently asked questions over here that you can look at the most common questions that we get. If you are having problems accessing your account or you don't know what your parent portal login is, you can click on this request for assistance. It'll take you to this form here where you can fill in your name, your email address, whether it's a parent or a student, what device, what browser, and then the problem that you are encountering with MyEdBC. When you're ready to log into the portal and you have a username and password, you can just click onto this MyEdBC login. At this point, you will enter in your username and password that you have been given. If you've forgotten it for some reason, you can click here on the forgot password. You can put in your login ID and your email and follow those steps. So I'm going to now show you logging in to my test environment here. So this is my demo parent account and I'm going to show you what it looks like the first time you log in. So you're going to type in your username and your password that you've been given. Click login. At this point it's going to say that your password has expired. Please create a new one. The same thing will happen if the school or school district has reset your password because you have forgotten your password, you will be asked to do this step again. So you'll put in the password that you just entered in. You'll now put in the new password that you want, ensuring that you meet the requirements that are outlined above here. So I'm gonna enter my password with capital letters, numbers, and symbols. And then I'm going to click OK. Once you've entered your password, you're going to be asked some security preferences. The first thing is you want to double check that your email address is correct. And this should be an email address that is your personal email address. Next, you need to answer a security question and put in the answer that you want. So what city did your father grow up in? Or what city were you born? Or your mother's maiden name? Or your favorite athlete? So I'm going to put in city that I'm born. Make this answer easy to remember because if you have forgotten your password, you're going to have to type this answer in before you get an email with your new password. So make it something obvious. And then go submit. At this point, we're now logged into the parent portal. So this screen is your welcome screen. And this will have some basic information that's useful. Firstly, on the left-hand side, you will see for each of your students that you are a parent of, you will see any recent activity. So you can see for my student here, there was some term grades posted for a course. There was some attendance taken. Here's some more term grades posted for my other kid, Kate, and some attendance. I can see if the teachers are using the gradebook in my BC. I can see upcoming assignments for my students. And I can switch between students here to see what my other students are doing. On the right hand side here is published reports. And this is where your report card at the end of each term will be published. It'll show up here for each of your students. The next tab is the family tab. This will show you each of your students that you have access to the portal for. For each of your students, you can see some of the details on their information. So for instance, for Joshua here, I can see some basic demographic information like birth dates. I can double check the addresses here. I can see their photo, if they had a photo. 
I can see my contacts. So I can see who is related to my student. So here is the two parents for this particular student and a grandmother that's attached as well. These contacts could be emergency contacts. They could be doctors. Uh, they could be anybody who's related to the student as a contact. I can see the daily attendance for the students. So for elementary students, you can see the daily attendance when they've been absent, when they've been late. If I switch to my other student, Kate, who's in high school, I can see some other information related to these bottom tabs. So I'm gonna go back to students, click on Kate, who's in grade 12. If I go to the transcript, I can see her transcript records. I can see how she's doing. I can also go to the graduation summary and see if she's gonna meet the requirements to graduate. And I can see a schedule of when my student has courses throughout the week. And you can double check any of this information. You cannot edit any of the demographic information in here. You would have to notify the school to indicate that some information is incorrect. Finally, we can go to academics where we can see how our students are doing in their different courses. So I can pick how my students are doing in their different courses. If I go to Kate here, yeah, I can go to her political studies class here, yeah, and I can see her absences and lates, and I can see any recent grades that have been posted. For my high school students to see their absences, I would look in the individual classes here, and not on the family side tab, which had the daily attendance for elementary. And I can have a look at say pre-calculus here, yeah, and I can go to attendance, and I can see the absences and lates for this particular class.